Hello and welcome to Let's Ride with Snow Wolf. <sighs> it's a totally different day, two weeks later. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is the bit where like, you know, my camera didn't work. Uh, I just came back to film it. So here we are. Uh, this is Mid Hope, I think it's called. Uh, it's what's at the end of the road that came up from um, from Lady Bar. And it's much warmer today, which is nice. Um, I need to mind my speed because we're in average speed controlled zone. Which is some bollocks, but okay. Uh, yeah, uh, it's sunnier, it's warmer, uh, you know, my bike reads 18 instead of 8, so that's pretty good. It's just, uh, the whole average speed camera trick. I decided to come on and just record a couple of extra episodes. You know, I'll do this bit again. I'll do another bit a little bit to the north of here. Down into Glossop again. Short left. Uh, and then, you know, I'll do around a little, you know, circuit of the peak. Get a few extra roads that I don't travel very much, but uh, might make for some nice um, viewing. Uh, ah, it's 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 nice to be out when it's not cold. Um, I think I talked about this a bunch last time, but it ended up not being on camera. Um, like, riding when it's cold is really annoying. And because I don't have, like, wind guards on my uh, handlebars, the fact that I have heated grips doesn't really matter. Because they, um, they can't fight the wind. So having some nice warm weather is nice. Or at least not cold weather. It's quite warm when I'm like standing around not doing anything. Um, but uh, actually riding it's, it's a little more. something I was going to say and it's just completely left my brain. Wow. How did that happen? Oh yeah, uh, that's what it was. Um, although my bike does say like 70 to 80 degrees, it is not 70 
bet that's a whole culture war thing, actually. I don't pay attention much to what's going on back home, but, um, like, I bet that's a whole culture war thing. Like, people who traditionally win turf. That win is just, like, cutting and drying. It's not like they win in the competition or something. It's just the way you, you say it. You win turf. Like, people traditionally win turf, um, I can imagine that being a thing. I have no idea if it is, but um, it's yeah, it is that kind of thing. Uh, I remember from when back at, back when I did live in Ireland, um, there were all manner of like disputes over like cutting turf because. I mean, it's not just climate, it's also conservation. Uh, let's do a quick cut. And we're back! Yeah, it's kind of not really a point in leaving that in, to be honest. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, it'd be cooler if I could like, carry a bit of speed through it, but you gotta fix the bridge, you gotta fix the bridge. weird, like, there are definitely peat bogs in Britain, I've seen many of them, but I don't think I've ever seen any evidence of, like, people cutting turf and drying it to burn. I've certainly not smelled it at all, but it has a distinctive smell to it when you burn it. I like... You know, whatever thing that's happened to Nottingham, uh, like in fact, the place where my house is is formerly like the grounds of a coal mine. Um, so I guess they just didn't eat it, you know. <laughs> they had coal. But, um. Ah, it's kind of weird from an Irish perspective to be like, these people have peat bogs and they have never cut it. Even though, like, I personally would say, yeah, you probably shouldn't do that anymore, because it is absolutely horrendous um, from a climate change perspective. Um, peat bogs are massive carbon sinks, uh, and, like, removing peat from them, and then burning it is just, like, Jesus. Um, we should, in fact, be encouraging the growth of peat bogs, but that's... It's not quite a geological time scale, but it is not really a human time scale.
this road here that turns off. Um, it's like quite a narrow road that goes down to Glossop. And uh, I'm probably going to come on to that better. Uh, but I wanted to take this road. We're, um, we're experiencing a um, traffic jam. Causing this. These are all reservoirs for uh, water, by the way. Um, this is like Manchester's water supply. This road looks quite nice in maps. I'm hoping it doesn't have like terrible traffic or like a traffic light somewhere. Kind of ruin it. Oh, uh, there's a bicycle, that's what it is. Okay. Well, you know, bicycles are kind of like RVs, they have a right to the road, too. Yeah, it is kind of annoying getting stuck behind them. But, you know, our roads aren't really narrow and they make it very easy to pass them. I said that totally weird. Our roads aren't really wide enough to make it easy to pass them. There you go. It's a nice view of the uh, reservoir.
never taken the other road at the other side, the one that goes to Gossip. Probably because it goes to Gossip. Um, but... Yeah, this is quite nice. I, um, one of the reasons why I decided to take this one actually was uh, there's a charger over on this side that uh, doesn't seem to have the same restrictions listed that the Gossip one does. Um, so, we'll see if that rings true because the Gossip one annoys me. views off this road actually. It's quite nice. Traffic, because heck, traffic. Yeah. Oh, my legs. Ugh. Yeah, the downside of getting a whole bunch of wet room sessions in is that my entire body body's a noodle. That'll pass after a while. It always happens when I get back into the gym after a long time out. And it has been a long time out. Um, I always feel like a noodle for a couple of weeks. But, uh, it's all in service of good things. Good music playing. Were you, like, talking to someone really loudly? Is this what this is all about? It's like it's big queue of traffic because of a stopped tracker. Is he broken down or something? Odd. Um, but I am being told to turn left, which probably means uh, here. Okay. I'm gonna trust you, Google, but, you know, <laughs> you've not done a whole lot to earn that trust. <laughs> Let's see if this is a, uh, a wild goose chase. I do like these buildings more than the brick ones. Um, nice sort of stone buildings. Yeah. There is one nice thing about the peaks. Um, a lot of places where you would have had brick or stone. I mean, you still have brick, as you can see from these houses here, but you got a lot more sort of stone. I just don't like, like, big expanses of brick. It's a bit ugly. Second exit. Well, that's a sign for Hadfield, which is where we're going. Um, so I think that Google is not leading us astray, which is good. Um, because nobody wants to listen to me have a breakdown about Google. <laughs> okay, that'll be me getting into the charger. So, it, if you like this episode, give it a like. Uh, yeah. If 
I've got anything to say, hit me up in the comments. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, check out some of my other videos, you might enjoy them too. Uh, if you do, consider subscribing and, you know, hit the bell. And if you would like to reward me for entertaining you today, you can find my coffee link in the description below. Bye bye. Yes, it is.